Hey guys, this is Kaizen here and welcome back to another episode here on our Mind Colony series. And today we're going to be talking all about food and what your options are for feeding your citizens, which is important to keep them happy and also keep them working. So something you are going to have to pay attention to and think a little bit about as you play through this uh, mod. Uh, so first up to say we've got some food on us right here. Got some cooked uh, steaks and meats and things and some carrots as well. Now, one option you have with food is, let's go somewhere I know there's going to be a citizen over here at the farm. You can manually give your citizens food, and early game, this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to just kind of have to do that. Uh, you right-click on them. Um, he's just asking for stuff, which is, you know, don't worry about that. <laughs> but go to the inventory here, and you can drop food in the inventory. Now, this isn't the best person to choose because he's a farmer, so he's got food anyway because you can just eat the carrots, right? Uh, but that's how we would do that, and that's how I have been doing it for a lot of my citizens uh, up to now. But what I want to do today is get to a stage we start to look at automating the process. Uh, I'm wondering like where are my, all my citizens are. I think there's someone in here. Here we go. So um, you can see she's well fed right now, but she's getting to a point where she wouldn't be. So giving her some food would be great because as a builder, uh, we do keep her pretty busy. And also she's often got a job to do. Um, so they won't do their job as well uh, if you if you don't feed them. So what we're going to do is look at this block right here, which is a restaurant. Now the recipe for that, very simple, just need an apple uh, and a bit of wood there as well. So we're going to build a restaurant, and this is a place uh, where obviously citizens can eat, right? So it's going to help us in automating the uh, food production. Now you are going to need things like a delivery man and uh, storage and that sort of thing as well over time to fully automate this. But having a restaurant is a definite good step, and it's what we're going to work on here today. So originally my plan was to have a guard tower there and one over here as well. That's going to have to change. So you can see here the borders of the town. Now if you build a guard tower right up next to the borders, it will expand this border that you can build within your town outwards. So it will come out this way, right? Which is something we're going to need to do, I think, at some stage. So I think this guard tower that's here, it's fine to stay here for now, but at some point I'm going to have to take it down. Um, and the other guard tower that was going to be going in place is now going to be replaced by a restaurant. Now, there's a few reasons for this. First of all, because the guard towers will expand the border, as I said. Second of all, if we have the restaurant here, it's going to be quite central, right? I mean, this is our town hall here behind us. So, yeah, if we've got a, a restaurant here, everyone nearby is going to be able to eat uh, pretty easily, right? So, th there's probably a good place for it. Now, in terms of what restaurant we want to do, let's just uh, go somewhere we can right-click with this. There we go. Now, it comes up as cook in here, so don't worry about that. Now, the dark oak one, oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me just get out of here. Yeah, the dark oak one is one I like, which is not really in keeping with too much of the rest of the town. I think it's close enough that it's not going to look weird, but also I kind of like, and I mentioned this in a previous episode, but having some different types of builds, not everything looks the same. I think that's kind of cool. So let's get this into place, and we'll look at what it's going to look like at level 5. Here we go. Now, to me, I thought this looked really, really cool. Um, you've got a little walkway, which is uh, pretty cool in and of itself, in that the villagers can just walk in through there. So we can kind of have that connected up to here, and then we'll connect it up to the path over there as well. Uh, and also, it just looks really nice. There's going to be a very open plan area, but there's some indoor seating as well. And yeah, basically, this is the one that I thought would look cool. So what we need to do is just get it so it's at the right level. So yeah, that will do. They can walk in like this. And oh, I always forget those blocks aren't actually there. Oh my goodness, I always do that and jump on them and then they're not there because um, it's just a hologram. Uh, so I think this is about right now. The only question is, would it be better to have this side as an entrance or not? I think it doesn't matter. I think they're both the same. We can leave it like that and then kind of build around it for the future. So let's see what it's going to look like at level one. So this walkway actually stays in the same place, which is really, really useful. I'm glad they've done it that way. So we're going to hit tick and that's ready to go. Okay, cool. Now then, uh, let's have a look here. If we go to the restaurant, um, I, that was really weird. I shift clicked and it kind of opened in inventory. Okay, but if you just right click, I didn't mean to shift click basically. <laughs> anyway, build options. Marjorie, you've been fed. Come and do some building for us, please. And while she's going to be uh, getting over here and that sort of thing, what we're going to do is we're going to go slash home. And we're going to have a look. I think in here we have our resource scroll. So I'm guessing this one will do it. Uh, this is everything she's going to need. So a lot of dark oak stuff. Now, anything here that's a little bit awkward uh, looks all right, actually. She's already got the cobblestone and the dark stone stairs. So torches, furnace, and some dark oak. How much dark oak do we have? I believe this is our dark oak, right? 
Let's have a look. Is that darker? Yeah. It looks kind of similar to spruce. Sometimes I mix the two up. Uh, but given that's the case, we can actually get all this stuff to it really easily and get a building that. So I think I'll get it to build that. And then the next stage will be to come and have a look at it once it's actually built, what it looks like. And then we'll talk a little bit more about food and feeding your citizens from there. So while we are waiting for the restaurant to be built, I do want to talk to you guys about something else. Uh, we basically, uh, we're playing on the most recent version of the pack, uh, which is the 1.15 version. And because of that, there's a few changes. And in particular, we're going to talk a little bit about the university. Now, if we go upstairs here, uh, basically we right click on the block and hit this arrow. You see that uh, this is the research tree that we had before. So all of this is still here, very good. Uh, but we also have two new ones. So we've got civilian right here. You can see there's all uh, loads of things you can do for that one. Uh, and also uh, technology right here, okay? Uh, so there's all kinds of things that are gonna be cool to do and what have you, but the civilian one's the one I wanna start on because I need this to unlock a hospital. Now I've already built a hospital uh, because it wasn't uh, a requirement to research it first in the previous version that I started this game on. In fact, that's our hospital just up over there, right? Uh, but now that it is, we're going to get that research in, and there's going to be a lot more research being done. So my plan is that whenever we're building like we are right now, we want to make sure that we get uh, some research done in the meantime. The other thing I've been considering is whether we want to get another builder. Um, the reason being, right now, Marjorie's here working, of course, on our restaurant, which is, uh, you know, it's, there we go, it's, it's coming along. Uh, but uh, we're going to need more houses because we need more citizens, uh, or at least one more citizen, in order to have someone to be a cook at the restaurant. Because I believe everyone in our city right now uh, does already have a job. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of wondering whether it's worth doing that or not. But uh, it's something that you guys might want to consider early game to get yourself a couple of builders going, depending on how quickly you want to advance along. Uh, anyway, we're going to let her finish up and then we're going to come back in and talk about food again. Just thought I'd give you a couple little tips there and uh, keep you updated with what's happening here in my world. Okay guys, so our restaurant has now been built and uh, here is the end result. It's looking pretty good. I have sort of modified it a little bit just to connect it up with the pathways here. So you can walk in this way here and there's a little area you can go around here. We've got a furnace there as well as the actual restaurant tab itself uh, where we can put things in the inventory for the uh, the cook to actually cook up uh, and then uh, we can also go out this side here so there's sort of access on on two sides here still need to tidy this bit up a little bit because it looks a bit rubbish but uh, yeah we, we will uh, we'll do that uh, now on my stream i am now streaming on twitch guys uh, i'll put a link to my twitch down in the description we actually upgraded this building right here in between sort of in the middle of this episode um so this is now a builder's hut level four and this is what it looks like. I think it's looking pretty cool. I will show you this for those who missed the stream. Um, but yeah, kind of similar outside here, I guess. Uh, if we go inside, you can see we've got like a little doormat here. There's a furnace there with uh, fire behind it, which is pretty cool. Uh, downstairs, we have some storage as before and some of these fancy colored blocks and things like that, which were a real pain to get, especially the terracotta because I have not found a mesa yet. So I had to make that with, with uh, clay. And then the upstairs looks like this, just some sort of work areas and things going on here. And this is very cool. You can come out here and, uh, you know, this is like a little building thing going on here, right? So looking pretty great. We've also got a rack here we can add for storage and uh, I guess a couple of desks because uh, level four builder, I suppose we need some managers and things. <laughs> so yeah, Marjorie built that for us. Uh, and the whole point behind building that was that we want to upgrade one of our houses. So at the moment, I've got some houses that are level three. And we need one more citizen because we need someone who's going to be a cook in our restaurant. So we're going to upgrade this house right here to level four. But in order to do that, we do need the builder hut to be level four first. So that's why we did that. So in here, I want to go ahead and upgrade this. And I don't think it will take too much to upgrade. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that at least. Um, so what is I'm doing here? Why uh, Build options. <laughs> I couldn't figure that out for a second. So Marjorie, upgrade, please. So the request has been created. Let's wait for her to get started and see what we need. But I mentioned in the previous episode, these houses... Uh, these are Nordic houses and between level one and five, there's no huge differences. Uh, so you can see here to upgrade, this is what we're going to need. Really? This is this is actually more than I thought. Like This isn't loads, but it is more than I thought. Uh, now, I believe I have just about all of this stuff. Oh, apart from sea lanterns, that's going to be a thing. Now, yeah, this is a whole thing. So these are my waypoints. I had about 30 of them, including several water temples. And my J, well, not my JI, my journey map just completely died on me. And that actually happened when we were streaming, which really sucks. Um, so I guess I'm going to go have to find a water temple and get that happening. So I'm going to go and do the off cam because it could take me some time. But then we'll get all the materials together, we'll get the house upgraded. And uh, you won't notice a huge difference between the two, as I said. But we will see what the subtle differences are. Um, 
In the meantime, what I will do as well, let's have a little look inside the university here and just see what things we can get researching because uh, I definitely want to keep on top of this as well. So what about technology? Um, requires a farm level three. See, the problem is as well, these things like require things sometimes. Um, and we don't have necessarily what's required, but under civilian, we might. Oh, wait, we're still, we're currently researching something, so we can't do something else. All right, let me get the resources together, upgrade the house, and then we'll uh, see what that's looking like and go on from there. Okay, so just a bit of a random recording here as I was building the house that we talked about before. Um, Jennifer came in here. I think Jennifer might be sick, and she's coming to talk to um, to Sadie. Uh, now, Sadie wants a carrot, which we can actually get her without too much problem. I just thought this might be an opportunity to capture on camera uh, what happens when villagers, uh, or citizens, I should say, get sick. So this is uh, kind of something that's going to be new to me as well. I think so. The carrot is is supposed to like help uh, Sadie to heal up people who are unwell. Um, so we want a carrot. Oh, and a potato apparently as well. Dang. Okay. Well, there's your carrot for now. We'll see if that's enough to be going on with. <laughs> we'll see if we have any potatoes as well. So we might have to get into farming with some of this stuff. I do have potatoes. They're not cooked, but I didn't say cooked. So hopefully that's going to be good enough. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of interested to see this for myself anyway. So I thought we'll do this on cam and see. So let's go see Sadie. I don't want to give it all my potatoes. Um, wait, what? If you, if you have one carrot, you do have one carrot. You have loads of carrots. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, so sometimes you have to say that has to do for now. And then they recognize they've got it from there. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens now. Who else is? Is this? My inventory is full. I can't receive the cure. Ah, okay, okay. So what we're going to do is take out some of this stuff. Look at this. So she's now curing her. And it would be turned into sunset, wouldn't it? Oh, and she's cured. That's it. She is cured. Um, I'm going to quickly slash home and sleep. I've mentioned this a lot, but uh, you know, you want to sleep straight away so that mobs don't spawn. Um, but yeah, there we go. So that was the hospital. We talked about that in a previous episode. Unfortunately, none of our citizens got sick until now, so we weren't able to kind of showcase exactly what happens when they do and what you need to do. And I'm sort of learning that with you guys, <laughs> as you saw there. Um, but it looks like it's good practice to have carrots and potatoes in the inventory of uh, the, the hospital building or the person who's working as the, the doctor there. So yeah, we're going to carry on building this house. In fact, while I'm here, let me just very quickly go and check on the progress here and we'll get the percentage of that done. Um, I think they have all the materials that she needs now. There we go, 92%. Uh, that's pretty good. So, is it, oh, but there's some torches missing. Well, I'll take care of all this stuff off cam, jump back in when it's done, and we'll have a look. There's actually been some more developments to the house than I first thought, so that's going to be quite cool. We can see uh, how they compare between a level 3 and a level 4. You can see over there is already a lot taller and stuff, but we'll have a closer look at that in just a sec. Okay, guys, so here is the level 4 citizen's hut on the Nordic style, and it, has, it is actually uh, quite a bit different to the level, I think that's actually a level 2, but level 2 and level 3 are very similar. They look like that. Level 4, yeah, it's, it's quite the difference, actually. I didn't realize it was quite so different. Uh, let's go in and have a little look. Now, again, the outside bit, I do this myself each time just to put on the names of who's staying here, and I try and make each level look a little bit fancier than the next. So they've got this sort of iron walkway right now. Level 5 will be the next level, the final level, and we'll have to think of something super cool to do for that. But right now, we've got this going on here. We've got a space here for our fourth person uh, when he or she is born. So if we go inside here, let's have a look. Downstairs seems to be much the same to me. I think that's about the same. So I guess all the differences are coming up here. An immediate thing I notice here is all of this carpeted floor. We did not have that before. And some bookshelves and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool, actually. It's a very nice looking little area. And then if we go on up here as well, more carpet floor. And you can see we've got four beds in total, two here and two below. And I suppose in the future, there'll be more building going up there. We also have the fancy pants sea lanterns, <laughs> which took me ages to get, but um, worth it, I suppose. You know, that'll be pretty cool. And as the build develops, I'm sure they'll uh, sort of build around that some more as well. Of course, once we get to level five, we can make any adjustments to the house that we want, and it's not really an issue. We won't sort of lose those materials, uh, whereas we would now if we were to upgrade. So yeah, that's how it looks. That's pretty cool. So the next thing that I need to do right now is wait for a new citizen to be born. If we go to our town hall, you guys will see that it will tell us now that we have space for one citizen. So if we right click on here, uh, let's see, we go down to the people. Um, wait, is it? Sorry, it's here, it's the information. So citizens right now, six out of seven citizens. And you can see here, zero out of one cooks, which is the next person we want. Now it's going to take a little bit of time because we need the baby to be born. And then that baby needs to grow into an adult before we can give uh, him or her a job. And that job is going to be the cook, of course. So I'm going to wait until that's done. And then I can show you guys the cooking process once you have a cooking place in the restaurant and how to get that food made for your citizens. All right, guys, we've got the message in chat right here. We have a new child 
child living in our colony and we're going to go search for them together because they are pretty awesome and pretty cute and it doesn't happen very often. This is only my seventh citizen and you get your first four, so this has only happened three times, right? Um, well, not even because I think we built houses and stuff to get some of them. So we're going to go have a little hunt around. Let's see how long it takes us. And Oh, is that a little person? That is a little person. Look at that. It didn't take us long at all. So Anna A. Cranford. Okay, so we're going to see now what her statistics are like um, in terms of cooking. Now, I don't actually know what's needed for cooking, but I just want to see what she's like anyway. And looking pretty good, actually. Focus of 8 is very high. Athletics and dexterity of 6. You know, I'm thinking for cooking, maybe like focus, creativity, dexterity. These are things that could be used for that, potentially. I really don't know. So we're going to find that out together as well. But I have to say, I'm pretty pleased with these stats. So all we have to do now is wait for Annabelle to grow up. <laughs> so yeah, this is just a waiting game. We're going to go ahead and do that. As soon as she does, she'll get assigned as a cook, and then we'll see how the cooking process works. Just thought I'd show you the baby, because, you know, why not, right? They're cute. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we have a wonderful message in chat telling us that Annabelle has now grown up and wants a job. And boy, do we have one for her. Uh, we are very ready, Annabelle, and you are in a great place right there, because your job is going to be right here at the restaurant. So we're going to go to manage workers, and here she is. So it looks like adaptability and knowledge are the two things that matter here. And she's okay at both. She's not great, but she is okay at both. So we're going to hire, and uh, let's see what happens. Now, I'm immediately thinking she might be trapped in here. So let's actually try and let her out a second, shall we? Come on, out about up you come. There we go. Let's get you off to work. Good girl. There we go. <laughs> in you get. Go, go, go do some work for us. Go be our chef. Um, so you didn't have enough time to sleep. Yeah, I know. Um, what else do you want though, please? Oh wait, I think there was something else there. So don't have time to sleep. What kind of fuel I should use in the furnace? Oh, okay, so we actually have to tell her this. Let's figure this out. So this must be in here. Um, let's see, cook. Uh, so fuel source. Okay, these are all the fuel sources and they're all set to off. Um, do you just have like coal? Can I just give you coal? Yeah, we'll put coal on. So now you're gonna ask me for coal, I guess, right? Um, all right, that has to do for another sleep, come on. Uh, it would make my food much easier to have food. So we need to give her some food. I'll work on that. And I'm guessing she'll want coal as well. Let's go slash home and let's get her some stuff. So first up, what I want to do is grab a load of coal, of course. We're also going to grab some actual cooked food uh, just to give her. My goodness, my inventory's got really messy. Let me uh, sort this out a second. I usually remember to do this off camera before the episode starts, uh, or before the clip starts, I should say. Uh, so yeah, my apologies for forgetting that. I'm just going to quickly dump all this stuff. And then we'll get straight back into it. So yeah, we're going to take some cooked food to give her and maybe some of the other citizens to be going on with. But let's also give her some food that she can cook up for herself. So what do we have in here? Uh, let's see, let's see. We've got some, uh, what are those? Right, yeah, raw mutton, that'll do. Um, we also had some potatoes, didn't we? I think they're back in my backpack here. Let's give her a load of potatoes as well and see if she starts cooking this stuff up. So I'm sort of... Learn this one a little bit as I go, but I think it's going to be reasonably straightforward and you know self-explanatory and that sort of thing. So, yeah, we'll just <laughs> we'll see how we go with that one. But once I give her this stuff, hopefully then she starts making the food and we can go from there. So yeah, you want food and you didn't mention coal or anything, but we'll give you some coal, give you some food there, and we'll give you some food there as well. And okay, the request has indeed gone, and let's have a little watch and see what she does. Oh look at that! Straight away she is there cooking up potatoes. Um, and being a little bit um, inefficient, <laughs> but yeah, she's on to that. And I wonder if we give her a food like, if I grab some carrots here, what she'll do with those. Because you can't cook carrots. So uh, yeah, what, what what will she do with these? Let's see. I just want to know exactly what my options are in terms of food and stuff. Um, you want more fuel already, but you do have some, so you should be okay. So I'll give you some carrots. And I guess she's going to wait for that to cook and then take them out and then maybe cook the... Um, what was it again the the mutton or whatever yeah and then i'm not sure about the carrots but basically this is what it is now in the long term what we're going to do is have a delivery room set up um, and a warehouse so then we can have our items stored somewhere centrally and delivered around and the delivery person will basically uh, go grab food from there deliver it to all the different people and also grab like the raw ingredients from the farms so maybe we could get like a cow farm going and that type of thing and deliver it to the restaurant now, what I'll probably do is a bit of a Mine Colonies stream at some point. So do check out my uh, Twitch, which is down in the video description. Uh, you can follow me there at Kaizen Twitch. And uh, yeah, we, I'm going to be streaming quite a lot. So if you guys want to see some Mine Colony streams, that's the place to find those. We'll do some of those things on there. For the rest of this episode, what I'm going to do is just watch what happens for a little while and, uh, and see what happens to this food and that type of thing. I mean, let's say I take these potatoes out a second. Let's see what she's going to do now. Maybe we can actually try that together. So all the potatoes are cooked there, Annabelle. You're saying you want fuel, but what happens with these? Do you not take these out and put them in a chest or something? 
I'll figure this out and then I'll let you guys know what she does with them. <laughs> okay, so it just took a little bit of time and what she's done now is gone ahead and put the mutton in there and she's cooking that up. And uh, over in the uh, inventory of the actual restaurant itself here, this is where the cook stuff has gone. So that's great. And we're going to give her an inventory, some more stuff to be cooking. So this really is going to get a lot better uh, once we get to the point of being able to automate all this stuff. So all the resources. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit you. Um, all the resources are given to her. And, uh, and yeah, delivered to the citizens afterwards as well. For now, I think she's just basically like an automatic furnace and we would have to like manually pick that stuff up. So I think in the next episode or certainly in an upcoming episode or stream, I'm going to look to get the delivery person going along with the warehouse because that seems to me like it's going to be sort of the next progression in the pack. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I am keeping it up, don't th uh, fret. I know it was a little while between episodes, but I had some issues with my mic and then I had some uh, recordings that I had to do uh, for different reasons. But I am now back to doing this and uh, we'll try to do at least an episode a week for you guys if possible and with streaming as well it's definitely going to be uh, a lot easier so for this one guys that's about it if you enjoyed it or found it helpful please do consider liking and subscribing it really is greatly appreciated uh, but for now that's it guys so as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time